Once upon a time I was in your shoes, doubting the feasibility of selling digital products. Imagine it, two years back I was just like you. I had this dream of creating a digital product, putting it out there and watching the sales roll in while I slept. Let's just say, reality had a different plan in store. I remember my first digital product, I had poured days and nights into it, convinced that it would be the next big thing, but all I was met with was a deafening silence. No sales, no inquiries, nothing. I questioned myself, my abilities. Had I been duped by this idea of earning passive income? Was it all just a big scam? The disappointment was palpable, but it was also a wake-up call. I realized I had been naive to think it would be a breeze. I hadn't factored in the learning curve, the initial failures, the trial and error. I had overlooked the fact that every success story is built on a foundation of setbacks and disappointments, but I didn't give up. I knew I had to dust myself off and try again, so I started reading, learning, and experimenting. I delved into the intricacies of digital marketing, the importance of audience engagement, the art of product development. I spent countless hours learning from my mistakes, tweaking my approach and refining my strategies. Slowly but surely I started seeing results. My first sale, my first positive review, my first repeat customer. Each success, albeit small, was a step towards my dream. And with every step, my belief in the idea of selling digital products and earning passive income grew stronger. Fast forward to today, I am living my dream. I am selling digital products, earning passive income, and enjoying the financial freedom I had once doubted. I won't say it was easy, but it was definitely worth it. I want to assure you that yes, it's possible, and I'm living proof. Today, I'll share with you the 10-step blueprint that transformed my life. This isn't just any blueprint. It's a roadmap that takes you from the initial stages of selecting your niche to the final act of continuously testing and optimizing your strategies. First, we'll talk about the importance of selecting a niche, a crucial starting point in your digital product journey. Next, we'll delve into building a brand, that unique identity that will make you stand out in the digital world. Then we'll focus on growing an audience because without an audience, who will buy your products? We'll also touch on creating free products, a proven method to attract your potential buyers. After that, we'll discuss implementing email marketing, a powerful tool to keep your audience engaged. We'll also tackle developing paid products, building a landing page to showcase them, and driving traffic to that page. Then, we'll look at automating processes to make your business run smoothly. And finally, we'll emphasize the need for continuous testing and optimizing to ensure you're always at the top of your game. Now, are you ready? Let's dive deeper into each of these steps. Step one, choosing your niche. A niche in the context of digital product selling is essentially the specific market segment you aim to serve. It's like setting your GPS before embarking on a journey. It's not just about what you're passionate about, but also about what others are interested in and willing to pay for. Consider this. If you're passionate about underwater basket weaving, but only a handful of people are interested in it, then it wouldn't be a profitable niche, would it? So how do you identify a profitable niche? You research, you look for trends, you see what's selling, and you identify gaps that you can fill. Maybe you're passionate about fitness and you notice that there's a high demand for home workout plans. That's a profitable niche. Or perhaps you have a knack for languages and you see that people are looking for easy to understand language learning materials. That's another profitable niche. Remember, the key is to find the sweet spot where your passion meets market demand. Choosing the right niche is the first cornerstone of your digital product business. Step two, constructing your brand. Now let's talk about building a brand. You might ask, why is it so crucial? Well, think about it this way. Your brand is your business's face without a face. It's what sets you apart, makes you unique, and makes you memorable in the digital product market. It's not just about a cool logo or a catchy tagline, although they help. It's about your brand values, what you stand for, and what you promise to your customers. It's about your brand voice, the tone and manner in which you communicate. Are you formal or casual? Are you playful or serious? And yes, it's about your brand visuals, the colors, typography, and images that you use consistently across all your digital platforms. They should all come together to create a cohesive, identifiable brand image. Remember, people don't just buy products, they buy brands. They buy the story, the vision, and the values that the brand represents. So take the time to build a brand that resonates with your target audience, a brand that they can trust and connect with. A strong brand is your business's identity. It distinguishes you in the crowded digital marketplace. Step three, growing your audience. This is where the magic begins to happen. 
Picture this, you've got an amazing digital product, but if no one knows about it, how will it sell? It's like having a party, but forgetting to send out the invitations. That's where growing an audience comes into play. Attracting and retaining a loyal audience is no easy task, but it's absolutely essential. So how do you do it? Well, it's a mix of several strategies. Social media marketing is one of them. It's all about engaging with your target audience, creating relevant content and being consistent. You could also try content marketing, which involves creating and sharing valuable free content to attract and convert prospects into customers and customers into repeat buyers. Remember, it's not just about attracting people, but about retaining them. You want to build a community of loyal followers who are genuinely interested in what you have to offer. And to do that, you need to provide value, engage with them, and create a sense of belonging. An engaged audience is the lifeblood of your digital product business. Step four, offering free products. Now, this might seem counterintuitive. Why give away something that could be sold? Well, it's all about building relationships and trust. When you offer a free product, you're essentially extending a hand to potential customers, inviting them to experience the value you can provide without any risk on their part. Let's say you're an expert in fitness and health. You could create an ebook with top-notch exercises and offer it for free. People who find value in your free ebook are likely to trust your expertise and come back for more, perhaps for a paid product next time. It's like a sample at a grocery store. You try the cheese, you love the cheese, you buy the cheese. Your free product is that cheese sample. It's a taste of what you have to offer, enticing potential customers to buy the whole wheel. Remember, the goal here isn't immediate profit. It's about building a relationship with your audience, showing them the value you can provide and fostering trust. Free products can act as a magnet, drawing potential customers to your brand. Step five, implementing email marketing. Now you might be wondering why email marketing? Here's the thing. Email marketing isn't just about sending out newsletters or updates. It's about nurturing relationships with your customers, and that's where the magic happens. Think of it like this. Every person who signs up to your email list has expressed interest in what you have to offer. They are giving you a direct line of communication, an opportunity to show them the value you can provide. Through email marketing, you can build trust and rapport by sharing relevant content and insights. You can also promote your products in a way that feels personal, authentic, and unobtrusive. And when the time comes for them to make a purchase, they'll be more likely to choose your product because they've come to know and trust you. So take the time to craft engaging, valuable emails. Be consistent and genuine in your communication. And remember, every email is an opportunity to connect with your audience and to promote your digital products. Email marketing is a powerful tool for converting leads into sales. Step six, developing paid products. Now we're getting into the meat of the matter. Your paid digital products are not just about making money, they're about providing value to your customers. To develop these, you need to identify a problem your customers face and offer a solution. Consider what skills or knowledge you have that could be beneficial to others. This could be anything from a comprehensive guide on a specific topic, an online course, or a useful tool or software. The possibilities are endless. Once you've created your product, it's time to decide on a price. This can be tricky, but remember, your price should reflect the value of your product. Don't undervalue your work, but also ensure it's affordable for your target audience. Research your competitors, understand your costs, and consider your audience's purchasing power. And remember, your first product doesn't have to be perfect. The important thing is to start, get feedback, and improve as you go along. Paid products are your revenue generators. They need to provide value to your customers. Step seven, building a landing page. Picture this, your landing page is like a digital handshake, a first impression that can make or break a potential sale. It's the spotlight on your digital product. But what makes a landing page truly effective? It's not just about looking good, it's about being good. It's about being so compelling that your visitors can't help but become customers. Let's break it down. A well-designed landing page should have a strong headline. This is the first thing your visitors see, so make it count. It should immediately convey the value of your digital product. Then there's the call to action, the heart of your landing page. It should be clear, concise, and compelling. Make it as easy as possible for visitors to take the action you want them to take. Don't forget the power of testimonials. They provide social proof that your digital product delivers what it promises. Lastly, make sure your landing page is mobile friendly. More and more people are browsing and shopping on their phones, 
so make sure your landing page looks and works great on all devices. Your landing page is your digital storefront. It needs to be attractive and persuasive. Step 8. Driving traffic. Now that you've got your landing page set up, it's time to get some eyes on it. Think of it like a shop in a bustling city. If no one walks past, no one's going to walk in. So how do you get people to your digital storefront? Well, there are a few tried and tested strategies. First, there's search engine optimization, or SEO. By carefully selecting and using keywords related to your digital product, you can improve your site's visibility on search engines. It's like putting up a signpost in the digital landscape, guiding potential customers to your door. Second, consider social media marketing. Platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they're all teeming with potential customers. Engage with your audience, share valuable content, and use these platforms to direct traffic to your landing page. And don't forget about email marketing. Yes, it's scene seven, but it's also a powerful tool for driving traffic. Regular newsletters, updates, and exclusive offers can keep your audience engaged and coming back for more. Driving traffic to your landing page is crucial for making sales. And remember, the more people who visit, the higher your chances of making a sale. So get out there and start driving. Step nine, automating processes. As your digital product business grows, you'll soon realize the importance of automating processes to improve efficiency and scalability. Imagine trying to manually send out 100 emails or update your inventory every single time a sale is made. That's not just tedious, it's downright impractical. By automating these processes, you're freeing up your time to focus on what really matters, creating, marketing, and selling your digital products. There are a plethora of tools available to help you automate these tasks. For instance, email marketing platforms can automatically send out welcome emails, follow-ups, and newsletters. E-commerce tools can automatically update your inventory and process orders. But remember, automation is not about replacing the human touch. It's about enhancing it. It's about ensuring that your business operations run smoothly and efficiently so that you can provide a better experience for your customers. So, don't shy away from automating. Embrace it. After all, automation helps you focus on what really matters, creating and selling more digital products. Finally, step 10, testing and optimizing. This is the stage where the real magic happens. It's where you take all your efforts and fine tune them to perfection. The digital product market is always evolving. It's dynamic, it's fast paced, and it demands adaptability. Without continuous testing and optimizing, even the best strategies can become outdated and ineffective. This process isn't a one-off task. It's an ongoing cycle. You observe, you test, you learn, and you adapt. You fine tune your approach based on what's working and what's not. You make small changes one at a time and measure how they affect your results. It's like being a detective, piecing together the clues to find the best path forward. You see, the beauty of digital products is that they provide instant feedback, every click, Every download, every sale is a piece of data that can help you improve. And the more you improve, the better your results will be. So don't shy away from this step. Embrace it. Make it a habit to constantly test, analyze, and optimize. Testing and optimizing are the keys to improving your performance and staying ahead of the competition. So there you have it, a 10-step blueprint to start selling digital products. We started off with the foundational step of selecting a niche. Remember, choosing the right niche is like setting a compass for your journey. It will guide all your future decisions and strategies. Then we moved to building a brand. This is about more than just logos and color schemes. It's about crafting a unique identity and voice that resonates with your target audience. From there, we discussed the importance of growing an audience. This is where you cultivate relationships and build a community of individuals who trust and value what you have to offer. Next, we dove into the strategy of creating free products. This is a powerful way to showcase your expertise, build trust, and attract potential customers. Equally important is the step of implementing email marketing, a personal and direct way to connect with your audience, nurture relationships, and promote your products. We also touched upon the process of developing paid products. Remember, your products should provide valuable solutions to your audience's problems. Then we talked about the significance of building a landing page. This is your digital storefront, the place where your audience can learn about and purchase your products. Driving traffic to your landing page is another crucial step we discussed. After all, without visitors, there are no potential customers. 
Next, we covered the importance of automating processes. Automation not only saves time, but also ensures consistent and efficient operations. Lastly, we emphasize the need for continuous testing and optimizing. This is how you make improvements, stay competitive, and ensure that your strategies are working effectively. Throughout this journey, remember the importance of perseverance and continuous learning. Selling digital products isn't a one-time event, but a process that requires consistent effort and adaptation. Remember, the journey to selling digital products is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay persistent, keep learning, and you'll see success. If you are interested in more information or just want to take your digital marketing career to the next level, be sure and check out the links in the comment section below. May this year be your most profitable yet.